Dodger pitcher was the first to go his first four starts without taking a loss in Dodger Blue. I'm Dave Michener, and we'll find out the answer to this and much more here on Sign Stories. Welcome to Sign Stories, where I talk about the history of baseball through pulling a random signed card from my collection. If you like content like this, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. You won't be sorry. Now, if you thought Sandy Koufax was the answer to our question to start, you'd be dead wrong. Same with Don Drysdale or Don Sutton. None of these great pitchers were able to accomplish the feat that right-handed 24-year-old Jose de Leon was able to accomplish in 2016. Born in Isabela, Puerto Rico in 1992, de Leon was the 724th pick in the 213 Major League Draft. The Dodgers put the pitch from Southern University to work immediately in the rookie leagues. DeLeon spent most of 2016 with the Oklahoma City Dodgers of the Pacific Coast League, starting in 16 games with a record of 7 wins and 1 lost. During his time with AAA Oklahoma City, he posted an ERA of 261 with a sub-1 whip. The big league called, called him up in September, and he, took the four, and he took the bump four times in the majors in 2016. During these four games, he pitched a total of 17 innings with an ERA of 635. With slightly below average velocity, De Leon relied on a four-seam fastball that clocks in at 92 miles an hour. The majority of his outs in those four starts came by way of ground balls. He posted a 635 ERA during his short stint during his September call-up, allowing 12 runs in just 17 innings of work. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is David Michener coming to you live from Dodger Stadium for this day game to be contested between the San Diego Padres and the Los Angeles Dodgers. The Dodgers are in their home whites with blue pinstripe, wearing blue caps. Around the horn, we have Gonzalez, Utley, Culbertson, and Turner, with Kendrick and Hernandez and Puig manning the outfield. Behind the plate is Barnes and his battery mate taking the rubber for his very first big league start is September call-up Jose de Leon. The visiting Padres are wearing their road grays with blue caps. Their battery order is Jankowski, Myers, Solarte, Dickerson, Schimpf, Sanchez, Arcia, Aramasta, and Frederick. The Empire City is that we're ready to play ball, and here we go on this beautiful Los Angeles day for baseball. Up first for the Padres is Travis Jankowski. In his first season of full league ball, he has put up a 245 average. Daily end nods and deals from the windup. That's just a bit outside as the kid's nerves are showing just a touch from his first ever start. For wasting no time, he deals and Jankowski hits a worm burner towards the gap, but Culberson is there to glove it and get Jankowski at first, one away. Up next is 2013 Rookie of the Year, Will Myers. Daily end nods and deals from the windup. That ball's in there for a colored strike. It looks like this kid's got his nerves under control. He deals, and that ball is just a bit inside. The count is one and one. Barnes gives a signal. DeLeon nods and throws. That fastball buckles Meyer, and that count goes to one and two. Adjusting his cap, the, pitcher, the young man nods, looks, and throws a blistering fastball, and that's called strike three. He retires Myers on four pitches. Up, for the, up next for the Padres is Yangveris Solarte. He's a former Yankee, and he's found a good home here in the infield for the Padres. De Leon deals from the windup, and that ball is just a bit low. That looked like it was supposed to be a 12-6 slider, but it's just too much movement to get the strike. He nods and throws. Solarte tries to check a swing and fails. The count is 1-1. One one. De Leon nods and throws. Solarte got a bit on top one on top of that one, but he's running it out to first, and the throw is not in time. He is safe at first base. That brings up the cleanup man, left fielder Alex Dickerson. DeLeon moves into the stretch. Here's the pitch to the lefty, and that ran out of him. Oh, and that hit him in the arm. Solarte moves to second, and Dickerson takes first on the hit by pitch. With two down and two on, Ryan Schimpf steps on to face the rookie. DeLeon checks on the runner at second and throws a fastball up and in on Schimpf. Schimpf swings through it as it showed good movement. The count stands at 0-1. De Leon nods and throws. That ball is down and away. Schimpf plays off, taking the count to 1-1. One one. De Leon deals, and Schimpf is taking all the way, and that ball just catches the outside corner, according to the umpire. That's strike two. 
De Leon takes a sign and throws. And Schimpf got a piece of that one, but it goes foul down the third base line with the count staying at one and two. That keeps uh, Schimpf alive. De Leon nods. Here's the pitch. Here's the deal. And Schimpf swings through a second time, and that will end the inning. One hit, no runs, and two left on. And we'll be back right after these messages for the That Dramatization was pieced together from play-by-play -play accounts of the game on Retrosheet.org. They don't have the pitch count, so any item other than the player's name and the outcome of the at-bat was crafted and dramatized from that information from my imagination. Now, the 2016 September was a growing experience for the young man and allowed the Dodgers to show his ability on the largest stage. In January of 2017, the Dodgers dealt De Leon to the Tampa Bay Rays in exchange for second baseman Logan Forsyth. Uh, De Leon had only one appearance with the Rays in 2017, coming in in the sixth inning against the Texas Rangers on May 29, 2017. He earned the win in that appearance, giving him a career record of 3-0 and in five appearances. However, he did not stay with the big league club. He found himself playing on three different levels of minor league ball during the 2017 campaign and made only 11 total appearances that year. He had various arm ailments that kept him down, and in April of 2018, he underwent the knife to have Tommy John surgery to fix the UCL in his throwing arm. However, while healing, he has shown himself willing to sign autographs for fan, and he signed his 2017 The Rookies card for me. This Donruss card looks very sharp, but I do wish that Topps would drop the exclusive license. I don't like the airbrushed logos of the team, how they have to be airbrushed out because they're unlicensed. However, that said, the autograph itself is very sharp, and it's in silver sharpie, which I don't see a whole lot of. I love, And also, I love the fact that there are still young players that will sign autographs for fans through the mail. I found his mailing address that's in this at sportscollectors.net, and is collecting signed sports memorabilia through the mail. You should definitely subscribe to them. It's $15 a year, and it's worth it. Trust me on this. Now, that said, thanks for joining me on Sign Stories. Please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, I'm Dave Michener, and like Ernie Banks said, let's play too.